So I think we all know what's wrong with traditional VPNs, right? I can typically do an IP config. I can see that I am on my 192 network. But if I scroll up, I also see this awesome VPN network, right? You can see that I'm connected directly to the network. That also means that if I were to do something like an NS lookup on a machine or an IP on that network, I should be able to get a DNS resolution as well. So very quickly, I can see that DC1 responds on this IP. And as you can see, that's also my PAX system that I'm going to. So I'm gonna go ahead and load an image. I'm also gonna show you that I can actually get there via this IP as well. So yeah, look, I'm getting in the PAX. It's a little bit slow. I expect it on a VPN, even though it's less than 200 miles away from my house. I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I find a image that's quite large, right? I don't want to just load a basic thing. I'm trying to do diagnostic images. So I'm going to grab this MRI from a chest screening. I'm going to go ahead and load a lot of the images series. Go ahead and send that right to my DICOM viewer. Again, this is all on a server. I'm going to wait patiently while this loads. And so you're seeing it kind of load. You're seeing it kind of take its time. It's still not even getting there yet. And now you're going to see that green bar on the bottom, and it's trying to load this image. But as you can see, it's kind of stuttery, right? It's a little bit jittery here and there. It's trying to load this image. It's taking quite a while. As you can imagine, time is money, especially when we're thinking about radiologists. And how do I ensure that they're getting the best possible performance, right? I'm not even in the image yet. I'm still just waiting for it to log in so that I can finally press the green magic play button so that I can actually see what this image even is. And again, we're still stuttering even to get there. So yeah, now cool, I have the image up. It's loading, it's working, this looks great. But is there a better way to do this? I would hope so. And that's where you're gonna see me kind of pause that and we're gonna go into the next section. So now I'm using Zscaler. Zscaler, of course, we connect users to applications, not to the network. So I'm gonna run the same test, right? I'm gonna see, can I get to this IP address? You know, can I look it up? Can I even see what it is? It's gonna be the same environment. Oh, that's weird. That's a 100 address. I swore it told me it was a 10 dot address the last time. And so we, why, right? Cause again, Zscaler is a proxy architecture. So we're trying to get you to the application, not to the network. So we're gonna give you a synthetic IP. I'm gonna use the same image. Because, you know, apples to apples, right? I want to know what this looks like. So we're going to scroll down to my MRI. Again, I'm going to look for the big one. And I'm going to let it load. It already loaded that series really fast. And look at that load screen down below, right? It's pretty immediate considering how long it was stuttering before. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to let it run and see what this image actually looks like, saving me valuable time and probably frustration um, from having to work with a VPN that's very slow. Oh, and by the way, you can't just turn it off, right? So security is everything. I require a logout password. Now I'm gonna take a different gateway and I'm actually gonna use what we call Branch Connector. This is our Zero Trust SD-WAN product. And it's gonna be a slightly different address that we're pointing to. This is now my lab in Texas. This is much further away than 200 miles. And I'm going to go down and actually use the same image because, again, I want to see what it looks like without having an agent on my machine, just forwarding that traffic directly to Branch Connector and letting Branch Connector decide where it needs to send that traffic. I'm going to close out of this real quick. And as you can see, pretty speedy considering that this is now going all the way from Maine to Texas and I'm able to get into Branch Connector. And again, synthetic IP, right? I don't know what the application is. I can't just end map that and figure it out. This has been Branch Connector and ZPA and why we're better than a VPN for radiology.